Hey guys, real quick before we get into the review for this cute little guy, I just wanted to let y'all know that I do have an extra one of these that I want to give away and send out to one of y'all. So make sure that you stay tuned. Later on in the video, I'll let you know how to enter to win this just little giveaway that I wanted to share with you guys. So stay tuned for that. Let's get on with the video. Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're checking out a model kit from Kaviko. We haven't checked out anything from Kaviko for a while. If you guys don't remember, Kaviko is pretty well known, I guess probably here or in my channel, in my audience with you guys, probably for their small 1-100 scale version of the Nachin Tank. Now we have the Kotobukiya version, the larger 1-3 scale version, but Kaviko is the company that made those small little ones. They've also made a number of small model kits. This is, as far as I know, their first model kit that's in like a big proper like model kit box, like what we're normally used to seeing like from Bandai or Kotobukiya. But speaking of Kotobukiya, this is a collaboration of Kaviko and Maru Toys, which Maru Toys is just a model kit series which are normally released by Kotobukiya. This one is a different design, the Hakobu and Riku, which is being released here as a set from Kaviko instead. So it's in the same scale, 112 scale as everything from Kotobukiya, so it will be completely compatible with those model kits as well. But let's go ahead and check this out. We also here have the cart and container two set pack that you can get as an added um, kind of add on anyway, if you want to have more carts. So this one comes with like the main uh, mech and the one cart, and you can get these extra carts here as well. So let's go ahead and check them out here for today's review. All right, so checking out Hakobu Riku here first, cart and container set pack. We just have a photograph of the built and painted kit there, as I can assume. And again, just as a reminder, it is in the same 112 scale as the Kotobukiya products. This is the white version, but again, I believe this is only available in a white version so far at the moment, but this is a Atarashi official licensed product, educational and hobby purposes only. On the end of the box, the same photo and titling over here, Kabiko X Monitor Toys. The list price you can see down right there is 3,600 yen for this set. On the bottom of the box is our normal mode, and then our work mode, which is just, again, basically not really all that different in this case, but we do have the internal mode. So it does have all the same internal detail like we love with the Kotobukiya kits and action in basically just that the cart, the box and the container can open up like that, which is should be good for posing and trying out some different kind of like custom build stuff with that. On the other side, here's a little bit of information about the Hakobu Riku set. There you can see it with the kind of drones, which are not available as kits yet, but I would assume that those may be in production soon. We'll see. A little bit more information there, and that's basically it for the outside of the box. Let's go ahead and check out our contents here inside. We're just gonna have a few runners. It's gonna be pretty simple, I would imagine, for the construction. First off, our instruction manual has the same titling and photo on the front. On the back side, just like with the Kotobukiya kits, we have the view of the world, a little bit of a very brief introduction to the Atarashi kind of company, which in the uh, world of these Maro toys is the company that produces these different robots. On the inside here, some more photography play value. We've got a color guide over here for this, mostly being in gray and white with a couple little bits here and there. We've got our parts list here and then our construction, which yeah, should be pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think that's everything that we've got. Let's go ahead and check out the runners. All right, so runner A is gonna be our exterior armor panels there, which is not as like high gloss white as we see with the Kotobukiya releases, but it is still a like somewhat satiny kind of finish here for the white outer pieces. Runners B and C are gonna be in a very dark gray for all of the internal parts there, as you can see. And again, a lot of really nice detail on those. Runner D is gonna be a couple of little parts here in clear. And runner E is going to be essentially some poly caps here for the kit. We've got these in a kind of dark gray color as well. And then runners F, G, and H are gonna be the parts for the cart and container. So this is probably what we're gonna have in the additional set, but here is uh, runner F in white, runner G in the same dark gray, and runner H in white once again. So that's it for this kit. As for the cart and container to set pack, Guessing, like I said, it's just going to be basically copies of those last three runners that we just saw. Maybe some additional kind of like connection parts, but it's a pretty thin box here, as you can see. On the side here, showing normal mode stack, which is something you can do as well, and connect, connect the carts together there, obviously. And action, of course, you can open up the containers. On the other side, again, just an introduction to the backstory and everything like we saw on the other set. The list price for this set at 1,800 yen, so about $15. And on the inside here, and yep, the runners look mostly the same. We'll double check in just a second. The instruction manual here for this one, mostly the same stuff 
here on this. So we can just kind of very briefly check this out, the color guide there. And we do have a parts list. Yeah, there it is over there. So yeah, it's just the same three runners and we're just gonna have two of each of those. So that's two more of runner F here and two more of runner G, which is the dark gray parts and two more of runners H or runner H I should say. So that's it, very simple. Like I said, let's go ahead and get it put together, see how it looks. All right, and here's our adorable little guy all built up. And I do mean little as it is pretty little, but I will show you later on in the review a comparison with one of the Korobukiya Tamotu kits just so that you can see just kind of how it's gonna compare. They are gonna be compatible in terms of the size of them. They're both 112 scale. This one's just kind of generally the, just the design of this one's just a little bit smaller one, but it looks really awesome. We do also have its cart here as well, which of course we'll be taking a look at in both single cart form and then we'll also attach the double cards and we'll just kind of see how that looks once you're attaching multiples of those together. But pretty awesome, very cool little simple little kit, but it, there's actually a little bit more going on under the hood than you might expect. So let's go ahead and check it out. So normally now we'd talk about accessories, but we don't have anything else other than just the main unit and the cart box. So we can just go ahead and talk about this in some more detail here. As you can see, the clear part there at the front looks really nice. Here on the head, the separate parts there also look really nice on the back of the head. Nice little detail here with some little bits of well detail there at the back. As you can see, we have a couple of hard points here on the side, up here on the top, at the back, another light there, and then our main wheel section. Now all the wheels are functional as well here. The one at the front will rotate side to side and does actually spin. And the ones here at the back also will rotate side to side and those will spin as well. The head of course can also spin and you can actually pull this up a little bit. You can kind of raise it up and then that will also allow you to kind of adjust the angle of the head if you wanted to have it looking like slightly up or slightly down and turned one way or the other. Now, when I said there's more going on under the hood than you might expect, it's kind of here in this back section. So the, this uh, sub arm is going to fold out here at the back that has a little claw. And this is what you're gonna use to grab onto the cart. And we'll come back to that here in just a second. And the wheels also will expand out as you can see, those can both be extended out to the side like that. I'm not really exactly sure like uh, what the purpose necessarily for that is, but anyway, it's cool that you can do that. I think it's just so that it's supposed to be kind of uh, more traction or whatever, I guess, but then that whole section will turn. It's gonna be a little bit limited now because now that the wheels are spread out, they're gonna be kind of hitting the body there. But yeah, as I said, this little claw here at the back is what you're going to use to grab onto the cart. And as you can see here, at the front, we've got uh, that hook. That's where that's gonna hook onto on the back side. If you only have just the one box, you could just omit this part because this is for linking the one box to the next one. With that off, it's just going to look like this. On the underside here, these wheels also rotate. They are functional. They can turn or rotate. It's really, really tight though. And so they're not going to like turn freely. So you're just gonna basically wanna set those to be just kind of straight ahead like that and as you can see we don't have a whole lot of detail here on the bottom side but everywhere else i know it's going to be kind of hard for you guys to see i'm going to try to adjust my lights a little bit just so that you guys can see the detail on here a little bit better but the door on the side will open up here and again some nice detail on the inside and both sides open it is symmetrical so you could open either the left or the right side it doesn't matter but yeah we do have some nice details on here that i think once you go ahead and just maybe paint in some of these details throw a little bit of panel liner on there or something just to so this doesn't look like just a big white box it's going to help it look a little bit more defined but it's a cool little thing and i think it'd be interesting to see you know what you guys end up hiding in there and so yeah, if you guys get the extra set, then you're gonna have two more of these and they're exactly the same. There's no difference between them. I should also mention that you can remove the box off of the cart like this and you can see there's some hard points here as well. And there's a peg on the bottom of the box and that's what's gonna keep it uh, secured on there. And it is pretty tight. I was worried about this just kind of resting on there just with gravity and nothing else, but it is actually connected on there nicely. That said, the hooks between the carts, as I said, these kind of interlink like that. This is just going to be a gravity system. So without anything else, it's just gonna like fall off of there. But so long as you just have them all on the ground, they're gonna roll together rather nicely. And let's just go ahead and connect this on here too. There we go. So we can see it in action here. Very nice. And I think it'll be really cool to see, yeah, like I said, again, like what we could end up doing with this just as a way to build it into some sort of diorama or something I think it could be very cool. So like I said, I do want to also show you guys just how this is going to compare next to a Kurobukiya kiss. This is the uh, Tamotu Pro. 
here obviously, but as you can see, it's gonna be a little bit similar in size. This one's definitely going to be smaller, but it's just the smaller robot in the series. But as you can see, I think just like aesthetically, of course, just being that they're both designed by Ms. Sun and just supposed to be a part of the same universe, aesthetically, they're gonna match really well. Obviously this one's in a, the dark color, but if you didn't know, you would have no idea that these are actually from two different uh, model companies, but I think they're really nice. Not too much else to go over here with this one. I'll give you a couple more looks around the kit as we wrap up. As I said at the start, I do have an extra one of these that I wanna give away to one of you guys. And if you would like to enter to into that giveaway, I would just like to ask you guys to leave a comment Comment in the comment section below the video here and let me know what do you want to stash inside of the box if you were to get this kit what are you going to keep inside of there it could be something serious or it can be a joke you can let me know uh, what you would keep inside of one of the storage boxes here if you have this kit so leave that comment down in the comment section there and also just let me know what you think about the kit i think it's pretty cool one thing that i really like about the maro toys series is that uh, you do have all that cool detail on the inside then you cover it with these big round smooth panels of like uh, armor or anyway exterior shell on them that are just really really nice for painting so if you guys wanted a kit that uh, is really fun to paint. You have a lot of wide open surfaces for painting like some kind of pattern or camo or whatever on. And then you also do get to enjoy painting some of that more mechanical detail inside there as well. These kits are really great for that. The Kotobuki kits obviously are gonna be a little bit more complex. This particular kit is very simple in comparison, but still it does have a lot of really nice detail on there. And so it's a cool kind of companion kit to the Kotobuki kits there as well. I really like it, but let me know your guys' thoughts. And of course, if you guys wanna check out some of the Kodobukiya kits for yourself. You can check the link in the video description to USA Gundam Store. We've got those there, as well as everything else from Kodobukiya there as well. And some stuff from Kaviko, although these kits are a little bit harder to get, so I know we may not have very much, but you can check the link down there in the video description. And as always, guys, thanks so much for all of your support, liking the video, making sure that you're subscribed, all helps out quite a bit. So till next time, hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.